Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Once again we're in Elder Scrolls Online on the PS5. I've just made a video featuring my house, Alanor Crest, in Somerset. On the European server, well here it is, the same house but on the American server the North American server, how it differs from my European version. I do like the vaulted ceilings here. Gothic. In the perpendicular style, sort of laked Gothic. English perpendicular. So again I've got this room as a stable. I haven't done as much to this house, I've not had it nearly as long as its equivalent on the European server. But again I've got a fireplace blocking this doorway. In fact I, I did this here in this house first, so this has kind of pioneered a lot of ideas. Cause my European version I've had for years now. And I was very reluctant to make any radical changes, whereas here, starting with a clean slate and empty house, and could apply all, all that I've learned and developed. For instance, this fireplace, you know, putting it in there. The flanking statues. So a lot of the rooms are fairly bare. There's a pond. I've got utilizing the curved feature of the staircase there. You see how it's curved. So I've completed the circle. There's a moon blessed ceremonial pool here. That's the, the bronze work that you see emerging from the floor and this side of the pool. There's also a, an elsewhere fountain, a four lions fountain. I've only got one of the lions appearing. The others are buried in the wall there, along with the rest of the fountain. The fountain basin's at least as big as, as this. The pearl of any price. There's a fireplace. And I've never been happy with the this bit of the ceiling. It seemed to be unsupported masonry, so now it's supported by these very substantial bits of woodwork. And what's the treasury? In my other house, the equivalent to there, it's still a work in progress. It's my crafting room so far. So I want to put trophies and my washing. The largest trophy is this, I think. Going up into the house. So I've got different paintings and so on. It's potluck, really, a kind of a random assortment of things that you happen to find or unlock. Like I've got these vampiric lamps, which are much better at lighting interiors than what I have used on the American, on the European server version of the house. This room is very bare by comparison. Yeah, combining a griffin head, one of the recent 
dungeons, I think. The trophy with the painting of a griffin's nest. Mm, so as I said, I've not had this house long, so it's at an early stage. Here's what I've done up here, the fireplace so far. Nice comfortable seating. Some guest beds. There's a bed over here as well. A cleansing bowl. There's also a secret room. Up here. With its own fireplace. Its own little cleansing bowl. So potentially a small bathroom ensuite of the room. Oh, it's still daylight, so there's still sunlight coming in through the windows. Quite nice. Mm. This was a an item I I acquired in High Isle, a bookshelf, a bookcase. I haven't unlocked the ability to make them, so it's just a random acquisition. But most of the work I've done here that I'm quite pleased with is the garden. See again, this room is quite bare by comparison. In my other version of the house, the fireplace is there. I moved it across so it's below the fireplace that's up there. So effectively they're sharing the same chimney column which is sort of traditional. And again uh, some fireside seating. Now to the garden. You see the garden here is quite different. These again are plants that came with high are these blue lilies. At least I think they're lilies. Flowering daylilies cluster, yes. I like them so much that I put them everywhere. The main part of the planting scheme here. And of course I can make these elsewhere fountains, so I've made them in abundance and put them everywhere. There's a small Nessie. combination of formal symmetrical plan planning and planting with a bit of wilding as well rewilding a bit of introduction of some wilderness into a planting scheme softening the hard landscaping with a bit of more random planting and mossy rocks and such like. And it's a water garden. I've got water features everywhere. But these are that's a combination of fountains. There are two fountains in there. And that's a single Elsewhere fountain, four lines fountain as it appears. And here I've combined it with an Alanor fountain, four ways. So it fits almost perfectly in there. 
So it's an eight ways fountain now. Eight water spouts cascading down. And of course there's a statue who's pouring some kind of liquid. Appropriate for the setting. Very annoying that you can't splash in the fountain. People have been putting coins in the fountain. Or maybe it's just dragon treasure. The coins are now found in the pills of song like that somewhere. Another fountain, in fact another Combi fountain of Eleanor fountain and elsewhere. And then there's this big pool, a round pool, full of mist and vapor cascading down here. Lily pads. And I guess that, is that a shrine to her scene, possibly? Yeah. But in my other house, I have a, a, t a raised terrace here, so I can enjoy the view. So in order to enjoy the view here, I just leaned a tree across. I can stand up here. It's not quite as good a view as in the other house. But better than, better than nothing. And of course you can clamber about all over the place, all over the rocks. Quickly explore. Get quite high up. Because it's an elfish, an elvish, an elvish town, high elves predominantly. I wanted that fusion of nature and structure, which kind of goes well with the Gothic architecture as well. Oop, been doing something up there as well. I'm going to show you that. You might not see what I'm looking at. That there, that kind of ledge. Well, I put that there. You'll see why in a second. Mm. I'm very pleased with this, much more so than the garden of the equivalent Eleanor House on the European server. And going up. There's a plank again, you will, might recognise that from the other house. Well, I stole the idea from here. Just like I've got a, a little seat here in the other house, I've got a couple of seats. I actually took a, a ramp up there, up to some planks, but I found I couldn't go beyond that corner there, there's an invisible wall. So I abandoned that idea. If you don't like heights, look away. Up on the roof. But also you can see some of the detail of, of things such as this structure given how high it is on the building there's no reason for it to be so detailed 
who's going to come up here and look at this, this details, but I can now. And these things, look at the, the detail on them. They're quite high resolution. If you, if you compare the how high resolution they are to the rest of the masonry of the roof. Oops. The ledge. Whoa. seat here, if it'll let me. Another good place to enjoy the view. And that's pretty much where it runs out. I might stick a plank across there to see how far into the corner I can go. But I think there is an invisible wall pretty much there. And that, I think that pink tree comes with the site, so I can't do anything with that. It's not in my. No, I can adjust all these things. Not that. Watch your step. Don't be clumsy now fall off the roof. So to make your make your head spin. Your altitude sickness. A bit giddy. I do like this the gothic architecture. I think it suits. Very well. Yeah. Again, I could put a couple of chairs up here. Maybe a bench here. Looking down into the the market and crafting area there. And I'm going to put some chairs up here. Maybe build a little gazebo. A bit like a, a summer house but up on the roof. reach the build ceiling I can't go any higher. So I can't even jump any higher. If I could reach up I, I could touch the invisible ceiling. There's an invisible wall right here. Right here. Trying to blend things in to look realistic and believable is half the task. I do think I prefer this garden to the garden of 
my European version. Again, a seat up here would be nice. Very tough materials, very tough fabric. I think it's a more harmonious garden in terms of the colour palette, composition, I try go, to go back to my other house and retro style it more like this but with limited success I'd really have to completely strip it down and rebuild it from scratch. And I'm going to path to the Cintrix where we'll have a, a trot around as well. There's so many details of that decoration on the other side of that balcony there. Hmm. So much decorative detail that you don't want to hide necessarily or try and enhance it by partially obscuring it. The beauty of ruins. Nature getting getting a hold again taking over from what we've done and softening it, converting it. Oh, some autumn leaves. Remember this water splash or not? Hmm. No, it doesn't seem to be very splashy. <laughs> hmm. If you like it, give it a like. No splashing. No splashing allowed. So thank you for watching. For staying this long. If you have. <laughs> Hope you found it interesting may be inspiring, go and do something similar yourself. So if you liked it, give it a like, leave me a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe, it doesn't cost anything. If you subscribe, you'll be directed to more of my content and similar stuff. Well, play hide and seek here. That's something I like to do in houses. I invite people to look at your house and play hide and seek. So thanks again for joining me.
and stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.